Hi, I'm Rafael, and I would like to draw your attention onto the cybersecurity threat of the future that none of us is protected against. Data poisoning. And if you've never heard about data poisoning, just think about refueling your car. What did your parents tell you when you first drove to the gas station? Don't put gasoline into your diesel car or your engine won't work anymore. Even if you only have a very small amount of gasoline in your diesel engine, it would still have a severe damage and would cost you a lot of money, time and effort to repair. Well, it's the same for data poisoning. If we have a look on these two pictures, for us humans, it's clear. The one is an airplane and the other one is a frog. However, the University of Maryland conducted a data poisoning experiment using these two pictures and they poisoned the Google AutoML platform, which is a picture recognition platform. How much poison data do you think was needed that the algorithm would identify the frog as an airplane? One, five, ten percent. With only 0.1% poisoned data, the algorithm identified the frog as an airplane in 80% of the cases. But let me give you another example. The Northeastern University conducted a data poisoning attack on spam filters. There, 1% of poisoned data led to the spam filter not detecting malware in 90% of the cases. So there are numerous studies out there of research institutions that all show the same. Just a very small amount of poison data can have a huge impact onto the algorithm or application, just like gasoline in your diesel engine. Gartner and other think tanks all agree that data poisoning will be a major cyber threat in the future. Let me give you some numbers to that. Since 2013, the amount of cyber attacks targeting critical infrastructure have increased by 3,900%. Additionally, Gartner projected that 30% of AI cyber attacks by now, by 2022, will target training data and will be data poisoning attacks. Even though the risk is increasing, companies currently have no mechanisms in place to detect poison data. In other words, companies cannot check if they currently fuel diesel or gasoline into their applications. And existing technologies like end-to-end -end encryption don't solve the problem as they do not cover the whole data pipeline. But let me explain you why that's the case by looking at the typical data pipeline. Usually companies have different data sources where they collect data, then the data is sent to some kind of database before it's being used by an application. Now in this journey, there are already various attack points for data poisoning. Starting at the data source, if a device is being corrupted or the configuration is being changed. Then we have the data in transit. The next tag point is when the data is at rest before it's being used by the application. Currently, the person looking at the dashboard of the application has no possibility to verify if the data he or she is looking at is really the true data from a desired data source. And if data is being shared across systems or infrastructures, companies have to blindly trust the data even more. The solution to that problem is Triptych. With our technology, it is possible to detect data poisoning immediately. Once data gets collected, our patented data notarization service creates cryptographic proofs of each data point. No matter where the data then is being transferred to, from there on, it is possible to verify origin and integrity at any point in time over the entire data lifecycle. Currently, there is no other solution like that on the market that can protect your whole data pipeline from data poisoning. So if you want to become one of our exclusive partners before we become commodity, Use the contact form in the description below and we are happy to hear from you.